Hello and welcome back to Up The Villa podcast. Welcome to AVFC Daily News, a daily dose of Villa news. Hope you're all doing really well. If you can subscribe to this channel, means the world to me, it helps me out, helps support us all. Smash a like on this episode. If you're buzzing about Adidas, especially smash a like and comment your thoughts in the comment section down below. So we've got two things to go through on this episode. We're going to talk about Adidas. We're also going to talk about the under-23s at the Birmingham Senior Cup last night as well. Who stood out, who impressed, who played well. Uh, but we'll start with the Senior Cup first. Um, so I was there last night at Sutton Coalfield and I've got to say it was absolutely freezing. It's got to be the coldest game I've been to in some time. I got home and like my bones were cold. Like I was just freezing. Um, it was up in the stand on the halfway line, sitting about two seats next to Paco, Unai Emery's assistant. Um, unfortunately, Unai wasn't there. Normally sends Paco. Paco must have been sitting there thinking, Unai, Unai, we could have gone anywhere. <laughs> we could have gone anywhere in Europe. I mean, we're in Birmingham, sort of Caulfield, freezing. Uh, but no, it was um, it was a really good game, to be fair. It was quite competitive. Um, as you know, I watched the under-23s when I can, pretty often. Um, so I was excited to see how some of the players did against Sutton Coalfield, Birmingham Senior Cup, pretty historic cup in Birmingham. It's been going for absolutely years. So, you know, that, that history vibe to it is there. Um, there's around 400 people, 450, I think, uh, the guy said on the Tannoy. So, yeah, good game. Villa won 2-1. Uh, Villa pretty much... Dominant with the ball. Um, style pretty similar again to the first team. 4-4-2. Um, pressing well. Build up from the back well. Passing it around really, really good. Um, uh, Rico, Louis, Rico Richards. Brilliant goal. Curler, top corner. Absolutely fantastic goal to kick it off with. Um, missed numerous amounts of chances. Villa created so many good openings. Um, you know, getting into good position, shots over the bar, uh, just lacking that final bit of quality really at times. But, you know, completely dominant really. We went 1-0 up, Sutton grew into it in the second half, got their goal from a header. I think that came in about the 77th minute or something. It was going to go to penalties. Um, and then we managed to uh, score at the very, very end. So we, we, we did well to get the goal. Uh, and then something that Unai hates, they sent their keeper up uh, and then we scored. And it was 3-1, actually. It was 3-1. Uh, so, yeah, really good night. Who impressed me the most? Tommy O'Reilly. Absolutely. Quality, touch, just time on the ball, technique. Um, you know, the way he, he jinks around and he, he beats his player, his, his passing ability is great, his passing range is good, his engine is just brilliant, he's absolutely everywhere. Uh, so Tommy O'Reilly, best player on the pitch, by some mile, I think. Um, Rico Richards, I liked, I thought he looked lively. Um, Rory Wilson came on, spurned a big chance when he came on, uh, but Tommy O'Reilly... Ran the show. Absolute baller. So, so good. So, very impressed with Tommy O'Reilly. Um, so, we'll turn our attention now then to Adidas. And I've got to say, I am so, so buzzing about this. It, it's massive. Absolutely massive. Um, and to be fair, it's, it's massive for the fans. It's massive for the fans to have... A proper, proper brand behind us now. Um, you know, we go, especially me, I, I like the training tops. I like jackets. I like coats. I like hoodies. I like these training drill tops. And that's something that I always like to buy um, in different colours. Obviously, I do the pods, so I like to wear some at Villa on the pod and stuff. I like shirts, don't get me wrong. Like I, I do like shirts. I've, I've got 
two of them this season. I've got home and away. Um, so I do collect them as well. But I'm more on like the training and just the general attire. Uh, so, you know, I, I'm more buzzing to get that and to to have a, a, a proper brand that is going to be making these kits that we can wear and it's just a feel of it you know the, the material the feel the vibe the colors it just feels proper doesn't it when you've got a proper brand it feels proper stuff um so that's something i'm looking forward to and even price point you know you go down you buy a drill tops what are these 65 70 quid ago it's castore if it's 65 70 quid and it's adidas oh i don't think i'd moan as much really i don't um uh, you know so i think price point when it's a proper good brand then you sort of like okay i'll justify it you know it's so, like okay, you buy anything that's half decent you justify the price by what it is don't you so you know i'm more excited for the fans that are going to have like a proper brand behind them now and uh, i've got to say uh, as a kid growing up, right? As a kid growing up, this was my brand. You know, in the comment section, at growing up as a kid, what was your brand that you had? Like, you had to have this brand. You had to have them three stripes. Uh, for me, it was Adidas. Like, it had to be Adidas. I, I loved Adidas. My first pair of football boots were Adidas. They were the 98 boots. Uh, that the predators and you know he, like i say as a kid you had to be you had to have the three stripes you know there'd be kids going to school with two stripes on and they would get it ripped out of them because they were wearing two stripe uh so it had to be three stripe and this was my brand adidas and I, I just loved them and then when beckham was wearing the i think it's the o2s with the little the little flip and the the piece of elastic that went under them i had them as well and yeah, I was just Adidas, Adidas, Adidas as a kid. So for me, I've got a bit of like a nostalgic vibe now, knowing in my head that we're going to get Adidas. And Villa, we've never had Adidas. We've had virtually most kit manufacturers apart from Adidas. So, you know, that's something really, really exciting as well. The kits are going to look completely different because we've never had this brand before. Um, and I've got to say, Castore, it's been a bit of a nightmare, hasn't it? We've the wet look kits and stuff and it's just not good enough and you know i think of where villa are going as a as a, a using the phrase brand as a, a, the brand of villa um you know we know that the club are trying to take us to the highest level possible and yes we've got the badge situation but as a brand, when you want people to collectively look at your brand and you can see the badge, the kit, the sponsor, the manufacturer, and you're seeing it collectively and it has that real good feel about it, you know. So I think that's something that the club are, are really trying to get to. And, and I think it is exciting. I think that. You know, I'm, I'm not going to talk about the badge anymore because I'm fed up of coming on here talking about a badge. Um, you know, I've said my piece on the badge numerous times now. So, yeah, you know, we've got to see what the next phase is with that, really. So it's all about the, the whole look together. I think once we get the new club shop as well and that gets sorted out, hopefully that will be solely owned by Villa as well. So we can, you know, be in control of our own club shop. That will be hopefully 10 times better as well so we're going to talk about the adidas deal now and we're going to talk about something that i hope happens with this deal so stick with me because what i'm going to talk about is quite important about this deal okay so let's go then we'll start off then with the article aston villa land adidas kit deal as castore agreement ends after player complaints Aston Villa have struck a major deal with Adidas, one of the football's two biggest sportswear brands, to take over as their kit manufacturer from Castore. The deal was overseen by the club's billionaire Egyptian owner, Nasef Swariris, who owns around 7% in the German company. Adidas has kit deals with some of the biggest clubs in the world, including Manchester United, Bayern Munich and Real Madrid. 
The Adidas deal is understood to be a long-term agreement worth multi-millions of pounds for the, Engl for the, for the men's, women's and academy. Um, so he was 62, who was the driving force in the appointment of manager Unai Enu, who is eager that the club had a blue chip manufacturer to re reflect the ambitions he has for Villa. Emery's arrival in October 22 has proven transformative. The club are currently second in the Premier League. Uh, the club's new president of business operations, Chris Heck, was involved centrally in the negotiations to complete the Adidas deal, which will see Villa's Castore agreement end so shout out to chris heck as well because i think when we are um being fair you know i think when we are sort of having gripes around certain things that the club are doing i think when things like this happen sometimes their names can be forgotten because of certain other things so you know, if Chris Heck, and I imagine he has been involved in this heavily with Nasef Swariris, then he needs massive credit as well to, to get a big brand like Adidas on board. So, uh, fair play to him. Right, the next point I've got to make is the big one. And some of you at home will be thinking, we've got Adidas. Absolutely fantastic, fantastic stuff. Which it is. But what Adidas have we got is the big question. So we know we've signed this multi-million pound deal, but Adidas categorise the clubs that are with them. So this article is from 2020. So it's three years kind of out of date, but it's going to show you the pyramid of Adidas and what happens. So some of the clubs probably aren't with Adidas anymore, but it's important to note that this is kind of what happens with Adidas. So here we have Adidas pyramid of football kit sponsorships, A teams, B teams, standard, third, part, third party, and not affiliated. So the elite clubs are the big boys with Adidas who have amazing deals and like I said on the YouTube short I did yesterday, Arsenal, for me, are the goats of kits because their kits are fantastic, what they look like. Their training wear is unbelievable. They have retro drops every now and again. So retro drops with different players behind each retro drop. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. If we've got anything like that, then I, I'm literally going to be on like cloud nine because that is unbelievable. But then it drops into different tier systems of, of where we are really. So Birmingham City was sponsored by Adidas a couple of seasons ago. And that was basic Adidas. It was template Adidas. It was literally a template kit that probably loads of other teams are wearing, but just a different colour. So that kind of shows you where you are. So um, we have got Adidas levels of sponsorship. So similar to Nike, Adidas has four levels of football team partnerships, A, B, standard third party. Interestingly, Adidas second tier clubs are internally called B teams. While there is no official name for the top teams, we call them A teams and premium teams. So as it's is the case with Nike and all other brands, there's also a fifth level, which Adidas is not responsible Clubs that buy their shirt themselves. So let's try and get into it then. So A teams, five clubs, Adidas A teams are on the brand's highest level. So those are some of the clubs Arsenal are in that level. Uh, we've got B teams. B teams are on the second level of Adidas Pyramid. B teams get custom kit designs as well as a range of bespoke products that are also available in various countries, many other brands and official stores. Um, we have got standard teams have a direct contact with Adidas but are not in the official catalogue of the brand. Their kits are also only sold domestically most of the time. Um, so it's interesting then to see which bracket we're going to fall in. Obviously, hopefully we're the top one. If worst case scenario, hopefully we're in the second one. Um, so I think that's 
just interesting to note that it, the, there are different tier levels to what we're in. Hopefully, Suarez has had a word and said, get us in the elite. I think Newcastle have, have gone into the elite as well. They're now sponsored by Adidas, having moved from Castore. And I just really wanted to show you a little bit of like the Arsenal clothing range um, and some of their tops that, that they've got. And, and you know, just it's cool. It's cool. Like the pro training warm top, pro training Arsenal. Yeah, some of this stuff is just really, really cool. And uh, if we go down here, you can see uh, some of that Ian Wright reversible anthem jacket. So they do drops like this. That's just really, really cool, to be fair. So. Uh, I think they, I think they nail it. To be fair, Adidas like these, like European winter vest stuff like that, like that that we currently like don't have. You know, all we we just so like a couple of tops and that's it. You know, even this stuff like this dropping. You know, it's it's twenty quid. Adidas Arsenal. I'd love stuff like this to just drop for Villa. So just random tops like this that just. You know, aren't even that expensive that are just cool. Uh, training top, training pants, anthem jackets, presentation jackets. Uh, so there's just so much like cool, like even this little jacket here. Cool, man. If that was Villa, like 45 quid. Um, so yeah, so, some of this stuff is like these as well. Has, has anyone seen the, the Roma range as well? Where They've just got like the wolf and the, the Adidas logo. Like imagine the lion and just an Adidas jumper like that. Proper cool. Like so like different. The hoodie, 55 quid for that. Yeah, sound. Sound, take my money. But just stuff like that. That that that's what it brings, and, and that's what I, I hope we're gonna get to be fair. So um, yeah. Just thought I'd just sort of talk to you a little bit about how excited I am about Adidas and hopefully what I think we're going to get from Adidas and a little bit about the Birmingham Senior Cup. We've got our match preview uh, that is currently out. Me and Justin did for Everton. Uh, I'm going to be recording the opposition preview today. The predicted lineup is being recorded today as well. So the content is being recorded today. Uh, so hopefully it'll be all out in the next couple of days for you as well. But yeah, subscribe to the channel, Up The Villa.